let's suppose you're asked to find the first five terms of this sequence. Well, this is your function, and it's a function of this variable n. Now, of course, you could put this in with x's and stuff like that, but if we want the first five terms, then that's going to be a beginning value of n equal 1 up to n equal 5. The default is to increment it by 1 each time. You can actually put comma and then an increment here, but your default is, is going to be a 1. So if I want it to give me a list of these first five terms, let's do it with some technology. To get to the sequence command, press the second key and then the stat button. And right above the stat button you'll see something called list. And that's what we want, is a list of all these terms. Once you're here, go to the right one to get to ops. And then the fifth term down is where you can type in and get the command for sequences. So I'm just I'm not going to scroll down and hit enter. I'm just going to type in the number five. Now it might be is it different on yours, a different number, or is it still five? It's still five? Alright, that's good. So for me, this is going to be menu driven. For you, if you got an older calculator, it's probably just going to say sequence, and then you're just going to type in the first thing. So for us, let me show you. Well, actually, I can do it this way. Let me type in my command or my form here. So it's going to be parentheses negative one raised to the n divided by four raised to the n. My variable is n, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Start from 1 to 5, step of 1, paste, bam. Now, if you got an older calculator, as you type it in, you're just going to have to put in the commas. So type in this function, comma n, comma 1, comma 5, and you can probably leave it there. I don't think you need the comma 1. But when I press enter, bam. I get the whole thing. And you can scroll to the right, you can scroll to the left. Now what we might want would be to see the fractional values. So hit the math key. Math key and press enter twice and woo. There you go. You should be able to get the fractions. Sandy? Before I hit the fractions? So after I type this in, um, oh, is it the actual typing of that in? Okay. After that, so after that, let me see if um, uh, let me try this. Let me go back down to here, and I'm going to change my mode to classic mode. So maybe it'll make me do it kind of old school here. So second and then list ops five. No, it's not making me do it old school. So why don't you just bring me your calculator and I'll, I'll show everyone how that one's done. Because I think a lot of you might have to just type it in and, and list these out yourself. So, oh, perfect. Perfect. Here, let's do this here. Oh, yours is okay. Yeah, I, I thought I was going to do it. All right. So the only thing that you're missing here is that you want up to five and a step by one. That means it's going to go one, two, three, four, five. It's going to increment that one by one each time. So when you come down here and press paste. It gives you that, so it's basically giving you the command. And then, wow, you've already got it turned into fractions too, so you're in good shape there. All right. How do you know if you add one? How do you know what? Like one and one. Oh, uh, it's going to add one if you have the step size is one. Now, that's a good question. What if I wanted a different step size? What if I wanted to go up by two? I could do that then what would happen is that it'll start out with a 1 and that's going to go up to 3 and it's going to go up to 5. So I should only get three terms when I do it this way. So let me paste that in and there's my three terms. It's going to be the fifth, the first, third, and fifth term. I can see that when I 
turn these into fractions. So, nice. Okay, that one worked a little bit better. Is that working for everybody now? All right, good.